It's me, Althatch. Hi, it's me, Althatch. I have lived in Southern California my entire life, and that means I've pretty much gone my entire life without seeing snow. This year, I had a goal. We talked about bucket lists in that last video, and another thing on my bucket list was to experience a full-fledged snow day in all its glory. So here in Southern California, we've been getting a crazy influx of rain. Influx? Is that the correct use of that word? Do it now. We were in a drought. Things are crazy. The weather took a little turn. It's been raining like crazy. We super, super needed it. And I love the rain. Uh, and I thought, if I love the rain, I'm probably gonna love frozen rain. That's snow. I've never been skiing in my life, and the fact that I just got over being out of commission for four months from a severely broken arm wasn't really in the cards for me to put on a pair of skis, so I stuck to a few simpler activities. My level of snow activity capabilities are apparently comparable to that of a child. So there are some things that you have to do to ensure a perfect snow day. You have to build a snowman, of course. The um, three ball snowman is now a two ball snowman with a pompadour. <laughs> Check out the pompadour. We had to get resourceful and the sunglasses don't fit on his face. No, no, it's not his face, it's his hair, it's Let's the pompadour. Right. It was very intentional. Ta-da! He's a greaser. Yeah, he's a cool snowman. We have to make a snow angel. Hands up, fall back. Ah, it's so far! <laughs> Can you see it? Yeah. It's like perfect. <laughs> you have to have a snowball fight. Hey, Dad. Hello. What do you think? I think it's time for a snowball fight. You're gonna get wet. <laughs> you have to drink hot chocolate in a lodge. Well, this turned out to be a little trickier than I thought it would be. So first I tried going to a ski resort, but they were closed. I don't even know if it's open. My hot cocoa lodge plan is failing. Well, we're gonna have to go get some hot cocoa. I will not give up. Then I tried going to a Starbucks, but they had a B rating. Nope. Oh, it's got a B. That Starbucks definitely has a B. Let's go make hot, let's go get hot chocolate from Bonds and we'll make it. Cause this Starbucks definitely has a B. And I gave up and just went to the grocery store and bought some hot chocolate. <laughs> then I forgot to drink hot chocolate back at the resort. So I just made it at home, as in my home. I really tried, I really tried. Big ol' shout out to, <laughs> what are my hands doing? Huge shout out to Sleepy Forest Resort Cottages. They're amazing, they have jacuzzis in the room, and they're especially awesome when you unexpectedly hit a rock on the way down your mountain trying to get home, and you're stranded on the side of the road for seven hours. Seven hours, I am not exaggerating. No food, no water, no bathrooms for seven hours. It was just a struggle. We got home, everything's fine, it's great, that's my life. I was so determined to have my perfect snow day that I wanted to prove to Chris that I could put on snow chains all by myself, and I did. Thank you to YouTube. I never even like seen snow chains, let alone installed them. So that, that was, that was, that was good. Hey, you should subscribe and stuff. That's the end of that, because I can't feel my legs anymore. I should probably find a new sitting position. For some reason, I decide to sit on my legs, and then the more I talk, the more they lose all feeling and circulation. So I neither need to find a new sitting position or talk a lot less. Or both. <laughs>